Hello! Today I want to talk about this. It's a box of Yokai Watch Yokai Metal Treasure Zero One. So obviously this is the first set of Treasure Yokai Medals that they released. These started coming out at the same time as the Yokai Pod, but after the last set of Dream Medals. I know I'm skipping the remaining two boxes of Dream Medals that I have for now, but I will go back and review them very soon. The boxes of Treasure Medals work very similarly to the boxes of Dream Medals, where there are 20 packs in a box and one medal in each pack, and the boxes and packs are slightly more expensive because the medals have an NFC chip in them that can be read by, by the various different Yokai Watch toys. I got mine from Hobby Link Japan a while ago for around 3,200 yen. I think it was something like that. Here's what the front of the packaging looks like. As you can see, it's showing off the two special Hiho Yokai medals that are contained within this series. These medals can be read by the Yokai Watch Dream if you have it fully updated, and can also be read by the DX Yokai Pod. There are 20 medals total in the set, plus a few secrets. Two of them are Hiho Yokai medals, four of them are gold rank treasure medals, four are silver rank treasure medals, and the last 10 are bronze rank treasure medals. After doing some research on these treasure medal boxes, it it seems that if you buy an entire box, you're guaranteed to get both of the Hiho Yokai medals. So I'd like to see if that's true. And I'd also like to try and get as many of the treasure medals out of the series as possible. So let's start with the first pack, pack number one. And the first medal we have is a silver rank Yokai medal. It's also hollow, which is cool. And it's of Orochi. Pack number two. There's only one Yokai medal in each of these packs. So let's see what this one is. It's a gold rank treasure medal, and this one is Bishamon 10, which is also hollow. Pack number three, and the medal is bronze rank for Gachin Kozo. Pack four, and the medal is another bronze rank, but this time it's a new character. It's Mr. Scop. Scop being the Japanese for shovel, and him looking like a spaceman, like Mr. Spock. Very cool. Pack number five. And we have another bronze rank medal of Hikikomori, pack number six. And the medal is another bronze rank for Melamin Iron. I do quite like the uh, artwork on the treasure medals. Pack number seven. And the medal is silver rank medal. This one is Bully Taicho. Pack number eight. And the medal is, oh cool, uh, a Hiho Yokai medal. This one is Hinotori. Uh, the frame is clear red, which marks it out from any of the other medals. Now the Hiho Yokai fit in the Yokai emblems that are sold separately. And then if you scan the emblems with the Hiho Yokai medal in them, with the Yokai pod, they'll play their own specific summoning song. Hinotori does have a yokai emblem, but I don't have it because it was a campaign bonus for when the yokai pod was first released. If you bought it in the shops on that weekend, you got Hinotori's yokai emblem, but not being in Japan, I obviously couldn't do that. And so the aftermarket prices on Hinotori's yokai emblem are quite high, so I probably won't be picking that up. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show off Hinotori's summoning song. Pack number nine. And the medal is a gold rank medal. This one is Gorgeous Taishi. Pack number 10, halfway. And the medal is, yeah, there we go. The Hiho Yokai medal for Kure Kure Patara. Now this one on the other hand, I do have the Yokai emblem for, so I'll be able to show off their special summoning song in the Yokai pod, so that's very cool. That does mean I've got both of the Hiho Yokai medals for this set, so it looks like they do come in every box, which is very good. Next one, pack number 11, and the medal is Usapion, a bronze rank treasure medal. Pack number 12, and we have a double for Hikikomori, but uh, that's the first double out of the box, so that's not too bad. Pack number 13, and it is a new character based off of uh, Steve Jaws. This is Indie Jaws, if you didn't think Treasure Jibanyan was Indiana Jones enough. Pack number 14, and we have Treasure Jibanyan. Hang on, is this the same Treasure Jibanyan that's in the Yokai pod? It is. Oh, uh, I thought it was exclusive, but it turns out that it's not. So I guess that's a double of Treasure Jibanyan. Next one, pack number 15. And we've got a double for Gachin Kozo. Next one is pack number 16. And the medal is another new character. This one is Masaranyan. Is this the yokai in Yokai Watch 3 that you can basically customize a nyan of? And that's why there's different uh, 
costumes in the background. Pack number 17. Android Yamad is in this set, so I'd like to get him. Uh, but we have a double of Mas Saranyan. Pack number 19. Nope, sorry, this is number 18. And the medal is... A silver rank for QB. That's pretty cool, he's a hollow medal. This one is pack number 19. And we have... A double of QB. That's not so good. And the last one, pack number 20 is a double for Mr. Scop. So that's unfortunate. I wanted uh, Android Yamada. Oh well. So there we go. There's all the new medals I got out of that box. Uh, a little bit disappointing compared to some of the Dream medal boxes that I've opened in the past. I only got 14 new medals out of the 20 in the set. I guess if you didn't have Treasure Jibinyan from the Yokai pod, that would count, but I do. So I'm counting it as one of the six doubles I got. Most of the doubles are bronze rank, which are the most common in the set, so that makes sense. But to get a double for a silver rank medal as well, instead of a new bronze rank medal, I, I think I would have preferred that. So there we go, that was a box of Yokai Watch, Yokai Metal Treasure 01. I'll be doing another video showing off what sounds these make in the Yokai Watch Dream. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again.